Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm with Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and I'm Tyler Merkovich bringing you week two coverage of the NFL season. Cleveland at Denver. Denver gets by with a miracle win. Cleveland, disappointing start against Minnesota. That is the Vikings, though. Lesser opponent here on the road at Mile High. How can they pull the upset off? Keys to, keys to victory for uh, Cleveland, number one. Keep giving the ball to Jamal Lewis. He looked fresh last week against the Bron- uh, against uh, Minnesota. So keep giving him the ball as well. That's going to help out Brady Quinn. Also, another key to victory, Brady Quinn has to throw the ball past five yards. Uh, he does a good job of hitting, uh, hitting the check downs. But that's not going to win you football games. They're going to have to get more production out of the passing game for Brady Quinn. Otherwise, he's just going to stack the line and stuff Jamal Lewis. Third key to victory on defense, they're going to have to get after Kyle Orton. What we're really, last week against the Bengals, Kyle Orton did an outstanding job of getting rid of the ball pretty quick. Uh, yes, he made some bonehead plays, but it, it, they did get rid of the ball pretty quick. Cleveland's going to have to keep that pass rush up on this guy to frustrate him to get have some success in order for Cleveland to go out to my eye and get a victory. Well, Brady Quinn needs to step up with Braylon Edwards. Really needs to make some plays in the passing game against Denver. Denver looks like they're showing some good defense up front. So I know they got Champ Bailey, but other guys need to step up. For Denver, let's get the running game going against the team. So Adrian Peterson did to them. Let's get Noshaw Moreno, Carell Buckhalter, and company. Get it going. It'll open up. The offense for Orton, which will help out McDaniels a lot. How can Denver get off to a 2 0 start? Well, speaking of that running game, uh, keys to victory for Denver, they do have to improve that running game, get that going. No Sean Moreno got his bell rung last week. Uh, that was his welcome to the NFL moment. Hopefully, he's healthy. He can get back in there and help provide that spark they need on offense to keep defense, defensive, uh, uh, the defense honest. Also, Denver has to. Fin- has to start the way they finish. They had a, a really good game against Cincinnati. They were able to keep the Bengals off balance. They frustrated the Bengals all day. Rookie and F- Alfonso Smith had a phenomenal game all over the field. A lot of pass breakups, a lot of key tackles. They were able to get off that field early uh, a, a lot on third down. So Denver has to continue to play that defense. They looked vastly improved over last year. And number three, they can't rely on miracle plays. I know that's not what you plan for. But they do have to have more consistency out of Orton. He can't have those plays where you just like, why did he throw that? They have to be consistent throughout the game. I like Denver at home. I'm going to take the Broncos because I think they're going to find that balance in the running game. And they're going to be able to hit Cleveland for some pass plays. Cleveland had a real problem yes, last, last week against uh, the Vikings with the short passing game. Vikings really didn't hit anything deep on those guys. It was a lot of nip and tuck, nip, tuck, dip, dunk, boom. That's I think that's what Denver's gonna do. That's their offense. So I think that plays into what the Broncos, I mean the Browns' weaknesses are. Sean Rogers and that front seven, they need to stop the run and they need to establish a run with James Davis, Jamal Lewis. Can they get any of that? Help them out a little bit. I don't know here. I'm going with Denver. Yeah, I like I like Denver. I think they I think McDaniels has them playing, you know, inspired football. I think they're gonna do fine. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.